2867 Steins is an E-type asteroid of irregular shape, located in the inner asteroid belt. It was visited by ESA's Rosetta mission on September 5, 2008. This video is a real-time reconstruction of the encounter, made from 150 different images captured by the Osiris Instruments wide-angle camera. The narrow-angle camera managed to capture a few images too, but as the spacecraft neared Steins, the software anomaly switched it off into safe mode just a few minutes before closest approach. Because of it, these are the highest resolution images we have of this asteroid. Despite the encounter lasting less than 10 minutes, in this small time frame, Rosetta's 15 instruments gathered great amounts of data. The chosen flight path brought the probe to a distance of 800 kilometers, about 500 miles, at a relatively slow speed of 8.6 kilometers per second, a little less than 5.4 miles per second. The maneuvers performed for the flyby allowed the camera to be continually centered on its target. Steins is a small asteroid of approximately 5 kilometers or 3.1 miles in diameter and its shape resembles that of a diamond. For this reason, the craters on its surface have been named after precious stones. For example, the smallest craters are called Tourmaline, Jade and Peridot, while the largest ones have been named Diamond, Circum and Chrysoberyl. Scientists spotted 23 craters in all the images obtained. The largest crater, Diamond, measures 2.1 kilometers in diameter, 1.3 miles, and it dominates the south pole of the asteroid. When scientists first saw the flyby images, they were amazed that Stein survived the impact that made it. Further analysis the following years confirmed that Diamond, while indeed a giant crater, is not an extreme example, like huge craters that can be found in Phobos and Antiope. Extending from Diamond, in a northward direction, is a chain of seven circular features. At first, these were thought to be a chain of impact craters formed either from recurrent impacts as the asteroid rotated or from a stream of meteoroids impacting on the surface. Later analysis, however, found out they could be depressions where the surface dust drained to a fracture below. This also works out with both the large diamond crater and a similar groove found on the opposing side of the asteroid. Stein's surface is not saturated with craters. That means that, in between the craters that were seen, there are regions of uncratered terrain. This suggests that its surface has been altered since its formation. It is likely that the impact that formed the diamond crater erased the smaller craters from the surface. Observations carried out as Rosetta approaches times were used to make a light curve, complementary to similar studies previously made from ground telescopes, and estimate the asteroid's rotational period at a little over 6 hours. These observations also help to improve Stein's approximate location in space and trace a better route for the flyby thus becoming the first time the ESA navigated probe using optical data from onboard cameras. The images and spectral data that Rosetta obtained confirmed Stains as an E-type asteroid. It has the high albedo and flat spectrum characteristic of this group. Its surface also has very little color variation, which points to a homogeneous composition the spectral data gathered helped scientists determine that this asteroid is composed mainly of iron-poor minerals, such as anstatite, feldspar and forstrite, like other E-type asteroids. 
Science is the only type asteroid to have been studied to such a great detail. After this encounter, Rosetta would go on to fly by 21 Lutetia in 2010. Finally, in 2014, it would rendezvous with Comet 67P Churimov Gerasimenko. Sirius's narrow angle camera recovered from its safe mode a few hours after leaving Steins, and it would work marvelously for the rest of the mission. If you like this video, please subscribe and turn on notifications to get updates on the following uploads.